Hey folks, welcome to CodeH. In this lecture, we will explore Lambda versions and aliases, which are the essential concepts for managing and deploying serverless application efficiently. We will create a function and it will have a default version as a dollar latest. And we will deploy new version and publish it. Now we will create an aliases on this version one which will point to this version one and we will name that aliases as a prod and you can see here the functional arn will be like this lambda function name colon prod same for the version as well lambda function name and your version now generally applications are configured to point to the aliases so this way the aliases abstracting the underlying versions so generally application is not required to know which version it is using. It is just pointing to the aliases. Now let's say you want to deploy a new feature. Okay, so what you can do, you can create a new version and publish it. Now here we can configure our aliases such that it will divert certain amount of traffic to the new version. And once we are happy with the new version, we will divert 100% traffic to the new version and we will remove the other link. So this is how this is called as a blue green deployment strategy. Now you have seen here how important analysis is. For the application, it is just a pointer and application is not required to do any configuration if there is any version change in the background. Normally versions are immutable so once you publish the version you can't make change in the code but aliases are the mutable we can change it later as well so that's it for the theory let's get started with the hands-on so in the aws console let's create a lambda function let's create a function let's give it a name lambda version demo we will select our runtime as a python create a function now we will change the message let's return as this is prod version okay just let's test it Yeah, we are getting this is prod version okay now we will deploy this version as a prod version so let's create a version click on the action publish new version let's give it name as a v1 which is a description which is optional and you can see here message like publishing a new version saves a snapshot of the code and the configuration of the latest version so let's publish it now you can see the version one is created here and you can also see the functional ARN that is lambda version demo colon one. This will be a unique functional ARN for each version. If you want to test it, you can click on the test. You can see the response from here. Now let's go back into the base version. Okay. And if you see here, there is a version. Click on the versions. You can see all your versions here. You can test your version from this as well. Click on the version. Click on the test. You can see details here. Okay. Now let's go back into our base version. And we will deploy a new version. Let's change the message. This is a new feature. Okay. Let's test it. So we are getting the message properly. Okay. Now what we will do, we will create a new version. Let's click on the action, publish new version. It's new version two. Click on the publish. Okay. So you can see version two is created. You can see the functional ARN as well. Now let's go back into the base version. 
and you can see all versions here okay now let's create a analysis from this version so just go on the action button click on the create analysis now let's give it a name as a prod and we will assign our version one as a prod version we will come to the weighted analysis later okay just save it now if you go into the base version there is an analysis section click on that and if you want to test this allies, just click on here, click on the test, and you can see your response here. Okay. We can create a multiple allies. Let's go back into the base version, click on the allies, create allies. Let's give it a name as a beta. Let's say version 2 will be a beta version. And click on the save. Okay. Now let's go back into the base version. Click on the analysis. You can see we have two analysis here and both have the weight 100%. Now let's say we are done with our testing on the beta version and we want to deploy this beta version to the prod. So we will do blue green deployment. Okay. So for that, what we can do is click on this analysis, select this analysis prod version, click on the edit. And you can see there is a weighted analysis option. Let's click on that. And here, what we will do is select version two, and we will deploy. Normally, we will deploy traffic to ten percent. But for demo purpose, we will deploy fifty percent traffic to the beta version, and fifty percent to the existing prod version. Okay, just save it now we will test it so let's click on the prod click on the test so now you see you can see this uh, this is a prod version yes. now you can see this is a few new feature right so this is how we can test it the new versions on the prod and once we are happy with the new version what we can do, we can go back to the analysis, click on the prod, edit, and just click on this none and divert 100% traffic to the version two and click on the save. Okay, you can see 100% traffic again. Now, if you go into prod, click on the test. Now you can see our new version is deployed here. Okay. So that's it for this lecture. In this lecture, we've seen how to create versions and analysis. Thanks for watching the video.